guys, this is Abelin Mirage. Welcome back to my new channel. Today I'm gonna do a little something different for you and we're gonna do haul slash try on of world's best joggers. Yes, you heard it right. Because I have found, I don't know if I'm the only one who haven't known about them. Um, I'm sure maybe not, so hopefully I can help some of you. But recently I have been suggested a lot of Lululemon try on videos on YouTube. I don't know why, but I have watched this one girl and she said that these are her favorite joggers and when she put them on, her butt looked incredible. Like, I feel like I lost my voice because I haven't slept all night. I am refilming this video because I was out of focus. And I can't see very well without my glasses, but if I wear my glasses, then the lights are gonna just reflect back at you and I'm a mess. I'm just gonna power through this. As some of you may know, I live in leggings, sweatpants, joggers, shorts. I love loungewear, I love active wear, and um, my favorite two brands are Lululemon and Alo Yoga, and those are the ones I'm gonna discuss with you today. I'm gonna share my favorite leggings from Alo Yoga that I wear every day, not for working out, not for yoga, just for every day. And I'm gonna share my favorite joggers from Lululemon. And um, guys, if you don't know about them, you're gonna be very glad you clicked on this video because I promise you, these joggers, the butt, oh. <laughs> Let's calm down. Another thing you should know about me before we jump into this video is that when I like something, when something fits me perfectly, I buy it in every single color because if something is Johnny's pop, that's my puppy. But Lululemon isn't that easy because they sell out. Apparently, according to some fanatics here on YouTube, like seriously, guys, <laughs> calm down. They know about new releases, all the colors, all the styles. I'm not really familiar with all of the names colors, new releases, what came out when, I don't know. So please bear with me, but but like, don't leave. So, so far I got them in four colors. One is in true navy or dark navy, and those are covered in chocolate. So I am not gonna be showing them to you today. And the black pair is most likely going back because I'm not a fan of black color. So I have two colors of those joggers to show you in this try-on. Two leggings from Alo Yoga and another pair of Alo Yoga leggings I'm gonna throw in here because I want to show you um, the most comfortable pair for lounging around if you don't know about them. But let's start with my favorite color in the world, which is blue. I don't like dark blue a lot. I like lighter blues. So this is perfect. Here they are. They are phenomenal because they don't have the drawstring. I don't like joggers with drawstrings because it kind of looks like you're meant to sit on the couch and drink beer. No, thank you. And they have this slight V on the back, so they make your butt look amazing. Try them on because I did not, I was skeptical at first and I didn't want to order them online and I didn't know my size. So I went to the store and I tried size 2 and size 4. I am a size 4 in a line jogger and I am a size 2 in a line uh, pants, leggings. So this is my favorite color and this is my second favorite color and this is I think dark olive, I believe. So, um, so yeah, it looks much fancier than just the plain black. It looks very, I don't know, chic and classy and more expensive I feel like. So my problem with black color when it comes to leggings, sweatpants, joggers is that they don't look very presentable, they look kind of cheap. Maybe not all of them but this specific fabric will attract lint and I have a blonde dog and a blonde cat. So I will be covered in hair and even if it's a little bit and I have lint rollers in my car by the door everywhere literally everywhere and i still have hair on me i don't know how it gets on my clothes and black looks cheap to me so navy it's like a new black for me because it looks put together elevated and very classy i think it's 
it looks very expensive. It looks more expensive than it is. Now I'm gonna quickly show you Aloe Yoga, my favorite leggings from Aloe Yoga. I don't know why, I don't see them on a lot of people. Maybe they are popular, but when I discovered them, I was so happy. I got them in two different colors because I just don't like other colors they have on the website. Of course, I got them in the navy color. Also, they're on sale right now, so go get a pair. I am an extra small in all Aloe Yoga leggings, except for Aloe Soft material because it's extremely stretchy, so I am an extra, extra small. And no, I used to get them in extra small before, um, but they did not stay. They moved around because I do yoga in them. These are kind of compressing, but not over the top. They're very comfortable. They're very stretchy and they are meant for yoga, but I don't use them for yoga because, because they're in cargo style, they look elevated. They look like you can use them as pants and like go about your day. They kind of look like a superhero pants to me. They make me feel like a superhero. They make me feel like very sexy and feminine, but like I can kick your butt. Yeah. And this is my favorite color in cargo leggings from Aloe Yoga. I removed the tags because again, I'm refilming this video and I tried them on for you yesterday and I filmed the entire damn video and I edited it and I exported it and I waited all night long for it to export just to realize that it wasn't perfectly in focus. I... <sighs> My window is open because it's really hot and I'm hyperventilating because I'm also kind of angry at myself, but things happen. And um, I think I successfully matched my eyeshadow to the bags under my eyes today, so yeah, enjoy. <laughs> and. These are, I don't know why I grabbed two pairs. I have them in every single color, literally every single color. So these are the Aloe Soft leggings that I love so, so, so much. Again, go a size down, definitely. Okay. In order for, if you're in between sizes and it goes for Lululemon Aloe Yoga, it goes for every single piece of clothing. If you're in between sizes, always go up a size if you want your clothes to look expensive because if something is too tight on you, it makes you look like a white trash alcoholic junkie. And it doesn't do you, your fat arms, your cellulite legs, any favors, me including. And it doesn't make us look classy. Always go up half a size, unless you're not in between sizes and you get your perfect size and nothing is too tight. Because remember, you will always, always, look bigger than you are if you wear something too small. For instance, if you are a zero and you wear double zero leggings, they will make you look like you have a muffin top because your bulging skin will create fat where it's not even there. You know what I mean? So same goes for bras. Those have to be fit, fit, fitted perfectly because your back will look fat. You will look like a sausage you need to get fitted for your bra size if you haven't been recently. But these don't cut into your skin. The waistband is extremely stretchy. I don't think they're made for working out. They're like for lounging around. So this waistband is still loose on me, even though it's an extra, extra small because my waist is really tiny and um, my butt is bigger. So it's hard for me to find something that is not gonna be compressing and making my butt look like a pancake, but stay on my waist at the same time, but these joggers, these leggings, and these leggings are really, are really amazing. And I have like 30 pairs of Aloe Yoga leggings, so trust me when I suggest something. Just try it and you won't look back.
or your joggers for, I don't know, going to a yoga class where you have a crush on a guy there, but then he's probably gay. Or for going hiking with your not so gay friend who you secretly have a crush on. <laughs> no raw onion the day before because it's gonna make you gassy. Yes, gross, I know, but it's gonna make you gassy. And no onion, period. Like, what the hell are you doing? Gross, get a life. No cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, beans, nothing that can make you feel bloated, no cherries. Have your fruit before your meal because I don't know if there's any science behind it, but I've known this for so many years and I promise you this works. If you have your meal and then you pile fruit on top, a meal takes longer time to break down and digest and the fruit on top will just spoil, will start rotting and it will bubble in your stomach and create gas. So have your fruit before your meal and it will digest much faster and much easier and you will not be bloated. Trust me, it works. Have lots of water the day before, have your green tea or matcha powder, whichever you prefer, and don't forget to do your squats if you do them the day before. How many times am I gonna say the day before? And there you have it. This is how you lose weight in one day. You're welcome. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon. Bye guys. I can't believe I'm refilming this.